Outcast, number two best favorite rapper of all time, Andre 3000. He was my number one for years and years and years until the invention of Kendrick Lamar came out. And then everything changed. <laughs> but um, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Uh, the comments are coming in. Awesome. I love them. I love them. I love them. I'm getting so many ideas. You got to remember, a lot of people don't understand that comments help because it's like a domino effect. It's, it, when you have ideas coming from so many different avenues and brains and thought patterns, it almost makes you so much more smarter because you're basically using the help from everybody to create things for your channel for their enjoyment. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's great. You know what I'm saying? I learn so much. You hear so much. Things that I would have never thought about reacting to, I react to. I would have never found about Lauren Hill if it wasn't for YouTube. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I knew about Lauren Hill, just didn't understand how great she was. So keep the comments flowing. I'm at 46. Last time I made a video earlier today, I was at 45. I'm trying to get to 50 by tonight. Um, you already know I'm doing my top two on both sides, my top four right now. Um, this is my top two all time. I just did my top one all time in the video before this. Check out the Kendrick Lamar video. It is pretty banging. Definitely check out that video. Check out that video. If you want to hear some, some Kendrick Lamar with hard beats, check out that video. Right, but this is Andre 2000. This is one of my favorite songs by him. I have heard this song. It's called The Art of Storytelling Part 4. There are one, two, and three. So I'm going to react to all those coming up. I did this one because this was the one with the kind of the the upscale beat. You got Big Boy on here. Big Boy go hard on here too. Um, it's gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be pretty fun. Love breaking down these bars. He's a storyteller. Well, Andre is a storyteller, but he doesn't tell the story like any other person. He's so unique. He is Andre. Sometimes listening to Andre is so hard because it's like, dang, I want him to be back in my number one. But now I almost got to fight for number one right now with the whole Lauren Hill stuff. So I'm scared because next week I'm getting more Lauren Hill. So, oof. Here it goes. <laughs> well, all right, y'all. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. <clears throat> uh, let your homies know. Tell all your friends. Tell all your friends. I still have not went in my phone book and told all my friends yet. I'm waiting until I got to 100 subscribers before I do that. Then I'll open. I'm basically, that's going to be my mark to open up to the world. So... Put it, I haven't put it on my social media or nothing, nothing. Nobody knows about my YouTube but y'all and my inner circle. So, um, help me get to that 100K so we can open up the world, y'all. I need y'all to help me open it up, all right? All right, here we go. The artist store terror, store terror. Drama, Gangsta Grills. Nobody know what Gangsta Grills is. This, that was the main hip hop scene back in the day in the early 2000s late 2000s if you you didn't have a song done by drama gangster gangster girls if you didn't have you went on one of them gangster girl albums you go to the gas station you see that the gangster girls four gangster girls five gangster girls six if you want an artist that wasn't on one of them you wasn't relevant simple as that they don't do them no more because these rappers nowadays kind of soft but yeah hey, there you go y'all Let's get into this, baby. Cannon. So I'm watching her fine ass walk to my bedroom and thought to myself, that's the shape of things to come. So like I said, he's just on a whole different level, man. The way he tells stories is just, it's, 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 it's out of the box. He said, I walk to the bedroom and, hold on, let me wind a little bit. He said, that's the shape of things to come, boy. Cannon. So I'm watching her fine ass walk to my bedroom and thought to myself, that's the shape of things to come. He said, I, I walked to my bedroom and thought to myself, that's the shape of things to come. That big ass booty, that the apple booty, apple bottom booty, that's the shape of things to come. That's tough, man. Um, she said, why in the club you don't make it precipitate? You know, make it rain when you can make it thunderstorm. I'm like, mm -hmm. why? He said, and this is facts for everybody. He said... Uh, why in the club you don't make it rain? He said, "Why do I gotta make it rain when I can when I can make it thunderstorm?" Like, hold on, let me make sure I said that right. He said, 
precipitate. Make it precipitate, you know, make it rain when you can make it thunderstorm. I'm like, why? The world needs sun, the hood needs funds. There's a war going on, and half the battle is guns. How dare I throw it on the floor when people are poor? So I write like Edgar Allen to restore. He said, How dare I throw that money on the floor when people are poor? So I write like Edgar, Edgar Allen. That's the, you know, the, one of the greatest poets, story, books, artists, love. Uh, yeah. So I write like him to restore. Like I'm trying to restore these people's minds to where it should be instead of, oh, throw money on for a big boot stripper. Da, 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 da. No, don't get me wrong. I love me a big boot stripper. But I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? It, sometimes you, 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 your, your priorities are wrong. That's basically what he's saying. Y'all priorities are wrong, bro. But we're going to skip back a little bit. Cause y'all know what he's talking about. Fuck. I just messed up. Hold on one second, y'all. Hi. I hate when I do that. Went on and half the battle is guns. How dare I throw it on the floor when people are poor? So I write like Edgar Allen to restore. Got a cord, umbilical attached to a place that can't afford. No. You can make it thunderstorm. I'm like, why? The world needs sun. The hood needs funds. There's a war going on and half the battle is guns. How dare I throw it on the floor when people are poor? So I write like Edgar Allen to restore. Got a cord umbilical attached to a place that can't afford. No landscaping or window draping. This old lady told me if I ain't got nothing good, say Nathan. That's why I don't talk much. I swear it don't cost much to pay attention to me. I tell him. He said, it don't cost much to just pay attention to me, bro. I'm trying to throw these words to you. All you got to do is just listen. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Simplistic. He's the master of simplistic rhymes. Some of the t easiest stuff to understand means so deeply. They told me if I ain't got nothing good, say Nathan. That's why I don't talk much. I swear it don't cost much to pay attention to me. I tell it like it is, then I tell it how it could be. The hood be requesting my services. Oh, don't get nervous. It's step your game of time. These ain't them same old rhymes designed to have you dancing in some club. Niggas ride to me. Women be off in they tub. Exfoliating. <laughs> you said, men ride up to me, but women be off in the tub. Exfoliating, getting that body clean, getting ready. I remember when, they, when I first heard the song, I was like, what the, what does exfoliate mean again? My dumb ass had to look that shit up. I was like, oh, got you. <laughs> He's good. Like I said, he told you, man, that man's smart. I'm designed to have you dancing in some club. Niggas ride to me, women be off in they tub. Exfoliating with they pump pumps, yelling, go 3,000. I'm in my whatever, bumping a 100 miles and running, 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 running. Summon, woman, coming, sit down. Heard you need some plumbing. Now he do that thing that Jid be doing. Like, y'all know who Jid is nowadays, but back then, he, Jid came, got that from Andre. How he can say a lot of words that sound so close to each other but are different. In a row, in a rhyme, like it's it's great. I'm just <laughs> running, woman, humming, tumming, like it's just crazy. But he makes sense with it. Like I said, the master of simplistic rhyme. That's why I call him that. Check this out. You see, what I'm talking about. I'm gonna see if I can break it down for you. And a hundred miles and running, 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 summon, woman, come and sit down. Running, running, summon, woman, come in. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, bro. He said, I'm going to summon that woman to come in. Oh, man. Running, 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 summon, woman, come in. <laughs> that shit hard, bro. That's not tough. That's not real tough. Uh, hey. Up and walk a hundred miles and running, 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 summon, woman, come and sit down. Heard you need some plumbing, done in, I'm in a swell mood, a rather swole mood. And he said, I just caught that shit. He said, I heard you need some plumbing. <laughs> come on, man. So hey, hey, for all the fellas out there, sometimes you just got to enjoy the deliciousness of the fruit. Sometimes you just got to make sure the plumbing is done right. You got to make sure all the screws is not loose. I love doing plumbing work, boy. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Woo. And then, like I said, the master of simplistic rhyme. Plumbing, pipes, pipe. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right.
my whatever bumping a hundred miles and running 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 summon woman coming sit down heard you need some plumbing done in i'm in a swell mood a rather swole mood until she told me that she told dude that she'll be back she's going to the store i didn't know she had a boyfriend so the door i pointed her to yeah, this is facts, man. This is so, and that's what makes Andre a real nigga. I don't know if he's just making the story up or not, but that's real nigga shit, bro. I can't tell you how many stories that I can tell of people that just like niggas don't even care. They'll just smash anyway. The dude heard that she had a dude and was like, "Bro, you gotta go. I ain't got time for none of that drama. I just, want, I wanted some of that deliciousness, <laughs> but I wanted the deliciousness to turn sour, <laughs> all because of your, your your baggage you got going on." He said, oh, man, let's see, what, let's see what the rest of the story he told her. Let's see. Let go back a little bit. Mood until she told me that she told dude that she'll be back. She's going to the store. Summon, woman, come and sit down. Heard you need some plumbing. Done in, I'm in a swell mood. A rather swell mood. Until she told me that she told dude that she'll be back. She's going to the store. I didn't know she had a boyfriend, so the door. I pointed her to. I said, call me when y'all break up. I don't fuck nobody, bitch. You never owned a Jacob. Know what time it is. Nigga just trying to live like a nigga supposed to live. If I still drink that malt liquor, I pour the beer on some of y'all new niggas don't know nothing about that, man. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, in the hood, man, somebody, one of your partners died or something. Everybody pour a little bit of that first that first couple of drops of that liquor to the ground just in respects. You know what I'm saying? And he said, he said, he don't fuck no woman on the Jacob. Like, he like, bro, I ain't got time for none of this. Like, I don't do that disrespect shit, man. I don't, if I know you got a dude, I don't even mess with you, yo. Straight up. He said... That's tough. Go back a little bit. I didn't know she had a boyfriend, so the door I pointed her to. I said, Call me when y'all break up. I don't fuck nobody, bitch. You never own the Jacob. Know what time it is. Nigga just trying to live like a nigga supposed to live. If I still drink that malt liquor, I pull the beer on the ground for niggas not around. I started off starving. Now they got me out here, Brett Farvin. Trying to see you. He said, I started out here starving. Now they got me out here, Brett Farvin. Like, y'all know if y'all remember Brett Farvin throwing them bombs? Come on, man. That's what he's the master of simplistic rhymes. He's Brett Farvin. He's he bombing them suckers now. He's just killing everybody. He, Bergie came out there with nothing. Now he's killing the game. Come on, man. If I still got it, got it. I guess it's like a Viking thing about it. I if I still got it. You remember when this song came out, Brett Farvin was popping. He had just came to the Vikings or something like that. The rest of the song, the rest of the, this song, we're going to kind of let it roll a little bit. I just wanted to make sure I broke down Andre's part. This is Big Boy and all that shit. Nothing going to stop us now. You can't stop us. What you going to do right now? You can't fight. We the boss in here. We lost this shit. Cause ain't nobody doing it like that. In the bit, I used to clip like Rob the Bar, but it seems she couldn't shape up. Cupcake, I didn't bother. She's a follower, a hell of a swallower, but not a leader. Got a first, second, third, and fourth string. I didn't need her. I didn't mean to treat her. He said, I got a first, second, third, and fourth string. Shotty, I don't even need you, Shotty. <laughs> That's tough. To clip like Rob the Bar, but it seems she couldn't shape up. Cupcake, I didn't bother. She's a follower, a hell of a swallower, but not a leader. Got She's a follower, a hell of a swallow, not a leader. Like, like Charlie, hey man, let me stop. Out of first, second, third, and fourth string, I didn't need her. I didn't mean to treat her like she was the main feature presentation. Her just a traitor to the situation. More he said, I didn't mean to treat her like the main feature, bro. That's tough. That's tough. Like a hassle because she had no keys to the castle. The queen sits on the throne while this whole ride down on national zoom. Go ahead, old, and beat your feet. Drop, 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 drop down and get, get your, your eagle on freak. We ever shout out to Nelly, yo. Shout out to Nelly. Drop down and get your eagle on freak. I miss girls dancing like that, man. Girls, girls now they all. It, it ain't. I don't know. It's a lame, man. Dan the dance, the dance scene from like 2003, four. 
all the way to like 2010 was lit, man. I'm talking about a girl busting it open, twerking, all that junk. Nowadays, you have to have a city girl song for it. I'm talking about, I used to have, drop down and get your eagle on, girl. Uh, pussy popping. Come on, man. They had so many different dance craves that was just lit. Girls just all different positions and flexes. Man, go back in the history. You want to see some girls looking interesting. Real delicious. Well, anyway. We're so discreet with this meat. Got a whole lot to lose. If paparazzi ever shot or shoot we, meaning me and you. Us together in the lens. My ends would be gone just like some throw in the wind. Told a hoe you're gonna win. Show sure enough, we gon' pretend to the land of make believe. Now come on and hit this hand. Taking shots to the neck. Now that's love in your mouth. Oh, now we're affiliates. So don't. Taking shots in the neck, so that's love in your mouth. Now we are affiliates. Come on, bro. Big boy ain't no slouch, bro. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, big boy wasn't no slouch. You, when you, I be telling people, man, just going to relationships and stuff, but the more you spend time with someone, the more your emotion grows, the more you learn from them. Y'all become more. That's why they say when you're in a long marriage, y'all become one. Y'all literally become one. if Y'all basically know each other like the back of the hand. And you learn from each other. Like you learn shit, a lot of shit from your wife. The same thing she learned a lot of shit from her husband. Like same thing in a rap game. When you when you partners, y'all pick up so much, so much. Like Juicy J, uh, Project Pack. Ju Juicy J learned a lot from Project Pack. Vice versa, you know what I'm saying? Now Juicy J running the game, Project Pack coming back. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you just learn from each other. Big boy is hard. L -l listen, to new big. I'm gonna listen to some. I'm gonna react to some of Big Boy's new stuff. That boy is hard now. Like he's a whole. He was hard back then though. It's tough. This is an old song, y'all. I'm sorry, man. It's just tough, man. Big Boy was that. He was that nigga, man. That little love in your mouth, so we affiliate. Sure enough, we gon' pretend to the land of make believe. Now come on and hit this hand. Taking shots to the neck. Now that's love in your mouth. Now we're affiliates, so don't give me the gauge to real. No drama. It makes no sense. I got a mean ass backhand and that don't miss. I want to make sure I make this junk official, you know what I'm saying? If Big Boy and Andre right now came out with a CD, it will ruin the rap game. Like, what I mean, and I'm talking about it will ruin because it'll be so massive. You know how many people have been waiting for Andre to come out? Oh, my God. Big, oh, my God. There will be nothing. It will literally, it's like, a, it's like a crash in the stock market. It will ruin the rap game. When I say nobody, that alone might make people stop listening to mumble rap by itself. Just that alone. The news of them coming out with a CD and they actually, oh my God. I know, Andre, you said how you had that 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 interview with a old guy. You said you ain't really want to make up music. I understand. I understand your feelings behind. I understand. But, Andre, I beg of you, please come out with one more. I know you said you had a lot of music that you ain't got. Man, I told, I'm a big Andre fan, y'all. Come out with one more CD. And I, I don't know how you and Big Boy, I hope y'all still cool and everything. Just... It, oh my god, y'all! Y'all don't even understand. The love below is in one of my top five CDs of all time, like all time. Like seriously, man. There's nothing like that. I'm gonna react to that whole CD, every single song on that CD. Over over time, I'm gonna react to the greatest CD, one of the greatest CDs of all. It's in my top three of all time. Like if you're talking about a sex album, oh my god, oh my. Andre, oh my god, and so, oh my, oh my god, that's sad, bro. I'm sorry, this letter's wrong. Oh, oh, no. Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> All right, y'all. That's the art of storytelling. I did a lot of talking this, so I ain't gonna let this end ride. Andre and Big Boy, please come out with one more CD for the community. We just need one. I know y'all got music hitting the chain. Let us hear y'all. I know y'all do. Well, you don't understand, like, the world needs that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just need, you don't even got to go on tour and I understand that. I understand you got families, you got kids, and you're older, and I understand. One more CD, man. Do it for the culture. When I say it will change people's lives, it will. And Kendrick, hurry up with your album. What you doing, bro? Come on, Kendrick. Anyway, <laughs> I just had to say that. We out. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment, comment, comment. I want to hear more stuff that you want me to react to Andre. Let me know. Same thing with Kendrick. Same thing with Jonah Lucas. I'm going to do my Jonah Lucas song. You know, I always do four Sundays, but that's going to be later on tonight. I got to go do something for my mom, so I got to get out of here. But um, I will. You, when you probably wake up in the morning or if you on the line tonight, you'll see it pop up. You know what I'm saying? The Jonah Lucas one. That's a good one, too. Check that one out. Check out my last one that I did, Kendrick. Kendrick is the GOAT. He is the GOAT for a reason. He is the GOAT for a reason. Check him out. Believe me, Andre ain't that far behind. And Lauren Hill, once Monday hit, we starting to hit some more stuff up, Jack. Let's get it. I got some bangers coming up. Uh, I reacted, uh, I got. I think I'm going to react to the Migos coming up. I know people like Migos. Migos fun, man. But we're going to check this out. That's the art of storytelling, y'all. Uh, all these songs on the weekends are like 9s and 10s out of 10s. So I'm not going to rate them. You ain't got to worry about that. We in this shit. But um, hope y'all like the video. You know, I'll never stop. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, 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 yeah. I'm the urban experience. Where we do things the urban way.